Welcome to Mexico and the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. This is one of the most challenging Grand Prix of the year, but not for the reasons you're probably thinking. There are no fast corners here. It's all slow speed, medium speed. There's a very long pit straight, but it's the altitude that's the issue here. We are at 2,200 meters above sea level. That is three times higher than the next highest track in Formula One, Interlagos in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And let's chat to one of our aero guys now, Ed Visca. Ed, Tell us how does that altitude of 2,200 meters affect our beautiful MCL32? So um, effectively, we're going through a thinner atmosphere. So think of it as a thin soup versus a thick soup. So we have less air going over the car, um, which effectively means that for the same level of downforce, we have less effective load on the car. So less pushing down on the tires. All right, so what is different on the car compared to Austin last weekend, for example? So the effect of that um, lower density is that we have less flow going through our cooling. This is our front brake duct cooling inlet. So we usually run packers, depending on where we require it for uh, brake disc cooling. And we can vary the levels depending on the circuit layout. Got it. There are three big stops around this lap. So Ed, what else? What else have we changed from last weekend? So under the bubble wrap here, you can see the louvers, which we have uh, more open spec than we usually run, which is just to deal with the fact that we have less air flowing through the radiators. Right. Louvres, they're gills, like gills on a fish, that's kind of, that kind of thing. Anything else? So towards the back of the car, we have uh, mid-wing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six elements on it, which is our maximum level. So that's the same as we ran at Monaco. And then this is our Monaco wing with the maximum gurney that we can have on it. Just explain for people at home what a gurney is. So that's this uh, 90 degree strip that we have at the back end of the rear wing. We can trim it down to suit the level of downforce that we require without having to change a whole rear wing assembly. So Ed, despite all of these wings, all of this downforce, the car is going to produce less load than at Monza, which is the fastest, lowest downforce track of the year. Is that yeah, right? it's quite extraordinary. So our maximum speed is the same as Monza, which is extraordinary. 